I have the 10 things you should never buy at BJ's Wholesale Club and what so-called deals you might want to avoid. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the deal guy, Matt Granite. I'm here to save you a lot of money. If you like this type of content, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And more importantly, a reminder, all of the information and the deals you want are live right now on mattsdailydeals.com where you will find my favorite deal of today, which is a $19.99 Bluetooth earbud set where the charge case also doubles as a power bank. A reminder, I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use any of my links. And let's begin with the first product I would not buy at BJ's Wholesale Club. And that is a lot of Apple products, but in particular iPads. I think a lot of you guys, when you are shopping at BJ's, whether it's online or in store at another wholesale club, you see an iPad and you get excited and they park them prominently beside a lot of other deals and you think you should stock up for whatever reason. When they even put crazy things in place like limit three per member, why would you even want to buy one of these? Because the exact same product of the most recent of the Wi-Fi iPads, 32 gigs, is 249 with a free year of Apple TV from Best Buy. So again, number one of what I would not buy, do not buy an iPad, do not consider other Apple products. They are usually cheaper at Best Buy. The $80 off at Best Buy versus the $10 off at BJ's is obviously significantly more enticing. The second group of products I do not recommend buying from BJ's Wholesale Club or a typical warehouse is cooking oil. Now, generally you're not going to find these cute little cooking oils that I have in my hands right here. You're going to find things that are significantly larger. And a reminder that once you open a large cooking oil, they generally go bad and should be consumed within two to three months. Whether it's a bulk purchase or they are all grouped together, you are going to find that in many cases, the cooking oil will expire before you can consume it. Of course, if you have a large family, then don't necessarily pay attention to that word of advice. But if you're a family of four or three and you do an average amount of cooking and grilling, you're going to find that you're better off at the grocery store when it comes to that number of products. In the number three spot of what you should not buy at the BJ's Wholesale Club or another warehouse club, for a lot of cases, you will find luggage deals like the one that I'm gonna show you right now are not that fantastic. A lot of the time you're using Traveler's Choice and Travel Select and these brands which are decent depending on what's being offered around Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but on a non-Black Friday or Cyber Monday occasion, you're going to find that your luggage sets with more ratings and more stock are better at Amazon. $39.82 versus this $45.99, I realize they're not identical sets, but a lot of these in my unboxing have come through the same factories. They just tack on slightly different names. So whether it's a Kenneth Cole luggage set or American Tourister or Travel Select, there's a lot of similarities between those luggage lines and I would not recommend buying them at a BJ's Wholesale Club. In the number four spot of what I would not buy at a BJ's Wholesale Club, Blu-ray movies and DVDs. These are strategically placed by the cash register or sometimes beside the snacks where you have those impulse buys and you see a movie and you, you love it or it's one that resonates with you and you quickly grab it on the way out and there's a, a price tag on it that doesn't necessarily correlate with anything because you can watch that movie for free. I have found that the vast majority of the movies that I've seen advertised at BJ's are available on Netflix, Prime Video, or Crackle, which is a free legal TV service. And if you are looking to figure out how to enjoy great TV for free, there's a video for that on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. In the number five spot of what I would not buy at the BJ's Wholesale Club, diapers. I don't wear them, but I'm a dad and my two-year-old daughter does. And from having gone through the diaper journey like so many parents watching right now, the quantities of diapers available at BJ's in some cases are just completely insane. You might get a very good deal, but the 192 count of Pamper Swaddler diapers is not a realistic number for parents with kids that can outgrow diapers very quickly. Their bodies change quickly, their sizing changes, and loading up on diapers that will last you, unless you have twins or triplets, probably well past the exact size you need. I highly recommend Walmart or some of the other diaper subscription services from Amazon, where you will find comparable prices per count and then promotions, which are also great, that don't require you to buy out every diaper in the store. In the number six spot of what I would not buy at BJ's Wholesale Club, bleach is on that list. And it's not 
quite the same as what I mentioned with regards to oil. Now the bleach quantities are very large and whether it's a laundry detergent like this or a bleach alternative or bleach itself, you're going to find that many of the coupons they pass along are also available on other websites and these products break down quickly. I realize that the shelf life of bleach is recommended to be around a year, but if you do open up that bleach, you're gonna find that its composition degrades faster than that one year mark. And if you disagree with me, leave me a comment, but I will, I will tell you right now, those large quantities of bleach and laundry products are not a great buy, in my opinion, at BJ's Wholesale Clubs. And the number seven spot of what I would not buy at BJ's Wholesale Club, probiotics. I'm not someone that enjoys probiotics on a regular basis, but I will tell you many of the probiotic products, not the vitamins, not the pills, but the actual Activia and other comparable products require refrigeration. So I'm gonna tell you two things. For how I've mapped out BJ's, and I think there's more than 218 stores across the United States, they're not always in the most populated areas of a specific community or state. For a retailer to encompass that level of square footage, it's, it's usually ch cheaper outside of the metropolitan area. With that being said, it's a long drive for a lot of us. I've noticed that from the time you get the probiotic to when you go to the cash register to when you go to your car to when you finally drive home, you might have saved 10 cents, but the actual product which needs constant refrigerating or a lot of refrigerating might not actually be what you want to take home. I also have some refrigeration concerns pertaining to probiotic products at different warehouse clubs, not BJ's actually, I have not seen this at BJ's, but by the time the product is moved from the stock room and then on its card and then it makes its way to the shelf and the aisles are much longer and they are huge, vast areas for a product to travel to, I have not seen constant refrigerating and it's a little bit different from how supermarkets handle that. So just throwing that out there as a product you may not want to grab. And the number eight spot of what I would not buy at BJ's Wholesale Club, not necessarily this brand, but that was graceful, I look like a moron, bread. This is what I can tell you about bread. A lot of people get very excited over their trial memberships, which BJ's is very generous with, and sometimes it's the membership price you're paying or their savings that they impart, and you go on and you load up on all these things and you see the bread discounts. If you, for example, shop at Walmart, they heavily discount their one-day-old bread at the bakery first thing in the morning after it's been in circulation. And the other thing to keep in mind, your grocery store and your supermarket, they have a lot more bread than a wholesale club in terms of turnover on a typical day. And with everything going on in the world right now and how people stock up in really different ways on bread than they ever have, grocery stores do not know how to handle their inventory effectively. And I've noticed that the grocery store discounts are more aggressive than what's being offered at typical wholesale clubs, including BJ. So put that in the number eight spot of what I would not buy. In the number nine, do not buy at BJ's suggestion spot. I'm going to throw canned goods. Well, you don't actually wanna throw them because they're they're heavy and they actually hurt when you drop them on your toe because you're running around your kitchen like a crazy person as I am from time to time. But the canned goods, and this is actually a thing, have a very specific tie to your grocery store in terms of discounts. So the canned goods and jarred food come tied to an alliance called the Canned Food Alliance. And the Canned Food Alliance has a strong relationship with your local grocery store. The deals and promotions passed along to grocery stores come with a different level of aggression and they come with a higher velocity and different brands and what does that simply mean to you? You're gonna do very well at your grocery store. A lot of us assume that we're always paying more at the grocery store or that the razor blades that we buy at the drugstore are always highway robbery. The promotions passed along at certain times over the course of the year when you know how to shop are actually much more aggressive at certain places like a drugstore, like a grocery store. It's just not day in, day out. A wholesale warehouse club like BJ's imparts year round savings in almost every category, but they can't do every category perfectly, which is why I have this top 10 list. So you're going to find that this would be an exception to the rule. I would not buy canned goods. And if you do your price comparisons, you're gonna see that they actually are much cheaper in your supermarket at different intervals over the course of the year. And the number 10 spot of what I would not buy, condiments. And in particular, condiment packs that look like this and a variety of others that are with a larger quantity, the average shelf life of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, somewhere between three, five, six, and if you're lucky, nine months. And for a lot of these discounts that are passed along to wholesale clubs, they don't begin with the longest shelf life. The condiments 
are discounted by the intermediary or a distributor and passed along to the wholesale clubs at a discount. But unless you are throwing a large backyard picnic or hosting a party or you barbecue every day, or your daughter has an obsession with ketchup like mine does, even though we're really trying to get her in a barbecue sauce because I think that's more fun, I would not buy the condiments from a wholesale club, including BJ's. And that is, that's a weird punch that I just did. That is, that, I'm so awkward today, what's going on? That is my top 10 list of what I would not buy at BJ's. If you have a different store that you want me to investigate, a reminder, I've done Walmart, Target, Costco, so many other different stores where I show you how to work the insider clearance coupons at Amazon, find hidden savings on different websites. Please subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please leave me a comment. I do read them and I will make my next video based on your recommendations. It's so important that I'm working for you and your wallet and I can't do my next video effectively if it's not for you guys watching and leaving comments. So thank you, I love you, have a great rest of your week and happy savings.